Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a word cloud with any shape using some Python code. And, and you know, we're going to pipe this over to Power BI. So you can see my data set here and then my word cloud. Now we can really customize this word cloud. And I'm going to take you through um, each one of the lines of code. But let's give this a fitting um, shape for what we are talking about or the subject we are talking about. So you can see we are talking about John Wick. So John Wick is an assassin, so it's probably more fitting that he has a gun. So I'm going to take you through each line of the code and show you how you can easily change the shapes as we just did. So let's take a look at the data set first. So I just uh, went over and created this. So I just copied and pasted some code. So let me go over to transform data. And then you see I just have a table called text and I use the edit, edit a function to bring in and copy just two lines of pasted text. And that gives me the ability to bring in the data from those two lines. So you could have as many lines as you want, but let me just show you how we pull this together. So I'm going to click on the image that we brought in with some Python visual. I am going to bring this up. And you can see what we did. We imported pandas as PD. Pandas is our data manipulation library. Now you usually don't need to bring this in because it's usually brought in when you do the, um, the Python script editor here. I imported NumPy as MP. Uh, then I imported matplotlib as PLT. Now that's going to be um, necessary for you to show anything when you are using that Python script. Then I, from PIL, which is uh, pillow, I imported image. And that image is there so I can actually bring in the shape. So then from word cloud, I imported word cloud and stop words. And this is going to allow us to actually make the word cloud. Then I created a variable, which is stop words. So I can easily add stop words to it. Then for this, I need a mask. So that mask is going to use that image that we brought in and allow me to bring in any shape in a PNG format. Now that shape needs to be in a specific format uh, for you to actually show it. And I'll show you in one second after I go through the code. So then we use a mask and turn that into an array of values using that NumPy variable. And then we load in the gun. So then we use word cloud and we provide it with a host of parameters. You can see I use a white background. So it's going to give me a white background. I said the max words to bring in is 2000, but you can change this. So for the mask, I bring in that image that we open up with that function and I brought in gun. Then for stop words, they are a list of words that I put here. So you can bring in any that you want to remove. And this is similar to what you do when you're creating a word cloud in uh, your Power BI notebook. Then to get this contour, I use the contour color black. And then the width, I made it quite thick with five. Then we generate the word cloud based on the text that we join. So you can see there's two lines here. So I used a space and I joined these two rows of text and isolated the column because the column is called text. So, and that allowed me to just bring in all of the wording here. And then once we do that, we can use the function word cloud that generate text because I saved it in the variable here. Then we use word cloud and we use an interpolation which is bilinear which just gives you two directions as you see and we took off the axis because the axis actually has um, some numbers to it and then we use plt.show to show the word cloud.
So let me show you one of the images that I brought in. So as you see, this is a gun. And all I did was use a snipping tool. And you see you have a white background. And then you have a black image. And that's going to work really well. So I can bring in a few more things. I think I have fruit here for an apple or a banana, I think it is. So if I run that, you can see now you have a banana. And I'm not sure what else I brought in. I think I brought in an apple. So let's bring that in. And you can see that shape will change and you will get that word cloud each time. So this is just a really easy way for you to kind of make your word clouds a little bit more interesting and maybe make them a little bit more suitable for the text that you are uh, bringing together. Um, now you in this bracket here, if you didn't want to see John Wick, you would just add another word here, for example, Wick. And let's also add John. And then we already know that we're talking about that subject, and that probably is going to be um, most used words there. So now that I've added those two to the list, and I run that, now you can see you get the words there. And you can see the words that are used the most are combat, hand, and assassin. And from the second movie, you got D'Antonio. So you can... Um, optimize this a little bit so if for example we can change the contour a little bit to a smaller contour and you can see that this color here is not the best so if you didn't want the black contour you could just bring it down and run it a little bit more so it looks a little cleaner but it really depends on the image you get and as you see each time you run this the wording is going to change but you can see it's starting to look a little rough around the edges. So make sure when you get your um, PNG, make sure it's high quality and very, uh, you know, tight when it comes to the way it's been cut out. But um, you won't have this problem with more simple shapes. For example, we looked at the apple and the fruit. But when you start getting into more complex shapes, it gets a little um, ruddy. So you can play around with the colors and the contour to kind of get the way you want things to look. And also, um, you can mess around and with the different selections to see if you get a different set of wording there because that data set is going to change each time you select one of those rows because it's filtering the underlining data. So don't hesitate to play around with this word cloud. It is selectable. So I hope that helps you to get a better idea of how to maybe spice up some of your word clouds. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.